Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at a very, very interesting looking tool which is known as Treat. Treat is a tool that is made available by the guys at Evolved and it is a powerful free tool that you can use to generate and customize trees in real time. And this works with most standard 3D apps and for sure you can also use this for game engine. Now without further ado, let's take a look at this tool and see how it works. So first things first, before you download this you would notice it has two types. It has the zip and also the executable file. Now this tool only works for Windows and if you want to get the zip this means you want to get the portable version and of course you can also get the installable one. So with this tool downloaded once you pop it open you would notice that it looks fairly decent straightforward and simple now how do you work with a tool like this so first of all for navigation with your middle mouse if you click your middle mouse and drag backwards you can zoom in zoom out push in push out dolly in dolly out all right if you use your left mouse button and click you can orbit around the object and if you use your right mouse button click and drag you can pan across now moving on you would notice that we have a couple of uh, icons right here and this is for your front your side your top and for perspective, you would also notice that we have the wireframe, we have the shaded with the vertex colors, and then we have the wind animation if we want this to be static. We also have the lighting if we don't want to see lighting and if we want to take up the grid, we can also turn that off right here. All right, so let's take these ones out and let's back up a bit and see what we can create with this tool. So creation process for this tool is extremely easy as what you need to do is to take a look at this section. So right here, we can now start making some things. So one of the things that we can do within this general is we can choose to turn on certain options that we can work with or certain options that we want to see. So if we go ahead and turn off the trunk, you can see we no longer see that. So your visibility options exist within this place and you can click on generate to generate various things depending on the seeds that you have. And at the same time, you can just simply proceed to work with the type of you know a polygons that you want to work with so right here you see we have a polygon reduction that is set to 100 and we can turn that down and you can also notice let's zoom all the way out you can see that this drops by a certain percentage so if we push this all the way up you can see that goes up let's turn on that wireframe so you can see that so if we turn this down you see we reduce this really really low and we can punch this all the way up now going over to where we have the trunk, we can start making some stuff. So if you push on the count, you can increase the number of trunks that you want. So let's just keep this at two. And if we want to split this trunk, we can split this trunk and, you know, split what we have going on here. So I'm also going to keep this one at one, for example. And then within the segment, we can also punch in the segment to increase or reduce the amount of subdivisions that we're also getting within individual segments. Now, when you go all the way down for the trunk scale, you can reduce and increase the size and also the length. So for the length, we can bring this down and you can see the camera animates alongside and we can also move this all the way up so we can get the trunk to look very down you know we can reduce the trunk and we can also increase it you can also choose to play with the increment of the length and you can drop that down you can also choose to play with the radius depending on how thick you want this thing to be and for sure if you have curvatures you want to play with curvatures you want to play with rotation you want to add some noise you want to add any of these things like billows and stuff like that you are totally free to do all of these things however you want. So for the branches, the branches also work the same way. You use this to increase and play with the branches. It's just a click and drag tool. So you can click and drag and make some things. If you want to also play with the polygons, you can do that. And if we click this and raise that all the way up for the branchlets, we can also increase the branchlets. And if we want to split these branchlets, we can also split the branchlets as well. So basically you have almost everything that you want and everything that has to do with your decision actually starts from here so if we lock this all the way back and also drop this down you can notice that we have just something that is very reasonable that we can you know essentially work with so what about the leaves what about the textures what about all of these things all right so if we want to increase and play with certain things that has to do with the textures and stuff like that we can go over to the leaf section and directly under here, you would notice that we barely have any leaf. So to load up the leaves, we can choose to increase the number of counts that we want. And this is going to create cards and these cards will be placed on individual parts 
of your branch length and then if you simply go all the way down you can increase the number of subdivision you want to have scrolling all the way down you can prune these leaves if you want to prune them and going all the way down you can now click on load textures and with the load textures selected you can load the base textures that you want and this is for the leaf particularly so we're going to click on current texture and for this one i think we should just simply select maybe maple and then you will also notice that we have a stem so let's select back 01 for example go back to normal come over here for the normal because we selected maple we're also going to keep that as it is select this one to get you know the normal of that thing back that we selected the same thing goes for roughness and once you're done simply click on ok and there you have it all right so there you have it you can now easily see your leaves now if you don't want to see all of these wireframes just simply click right here and those wireframes will be out so basically it's you know very easy for you to start creating things like so and if you want to increase and play with the you know the things that you get here you can choose to drop these things down you can choose to increase this and for a game engine if you want to take this to a game engine of course this is very very cool for you to take this over to a game engine so i'm also going to go back and open up a simple date palm that you can find here so if you go over to file and go over to open within the palm you will notice that there is a free date palm there so you can pop that open and we are going to take a look at this so this is also something very interesting that you can use and for sure you can create individual parts and load those components separately so you can load those parts individually because if we go over to file you will notice that we can open up various components for example the trunk the branches the branchlets leaves and also meshes so you can load these things in here and you can play with them however you choose and for sure if you want to play with the look and feel you can click right here where you have the directional lighting and you can use this to play with how the general lighting of this you know would look like at the end of the day you can angle these things however you want and you can create some very interesting looking stuff with this amazing tool so while we're still looking at the lighting you can change the skybox so if you click down here you notice you have skybox 2 and once you click that you can use these controllers like i said earlier you can also choose to change what kind of light you want to get and then you can also change the ambient light altogether so we can go for a different ambient light like maybe something like this and you can see that influences how this looks overall so depending on how you want to style and also how you want to visualize the tree yes you can simply use these things and get some pretty cool you know nice looking stuff out of this so if you want to see more samples you want to download more references you want to download more free trees if you go over to the website you can simply find a couple of free trees that you can get for free so you're going over to the tree library would expose a couple of trees that you can download you can grab them tweak them to whatever you want you know make the most out of these things and get creative with them moving this to another 3d application is simple as you can go over to file go over to export and you can choose to export this as either fbx or obj so you can use this for both games and at the same time you can choose to use this for your animations as well and this is the amazing app known as 3 eat and of course for anyone who wants to grab this or use this tool you can simply take a look at the link in the description and get this going tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace